Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob from Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very interesting unboxing for you. Something coming in from South uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So uh, I think that is pretty cool. I know what this is and today's knife uh, um, opening is going to be my Wii Banter. This is by Ben Peterson or as they say the Ben Ben Banters. I guess uh, he used to have his Ben Banter show or something but Ben Peterson design. Now this has the unlock composite scale on here, which I think is really cool. And this guy who makes these unlock composite scales is making more and more for other knives. So very cool. All right, so let's get into the box. Take the receipt out. And that is it right there. Okay. Let's see if there's anything about the paperwork. Nope. Alright, so very interesting. If you know NAF's company is the Ben Peterson's uh, design, and this right here is the NAF's. 00107 the lander mars valley carbon fiber so this is a unique version of it so i have the original nabs that we did during the kickstarter and this is the one that i got directly from ben and it has uh, uh, the paperwork in there where he signed it and everything and gave some special stickers but this one right here is made uh, d2 and g10 scales so let's get into this So typical, you get oh some extra hardware, which is nice. You get the little NAVS paperwork that you get with it and how to clean it and work it. Very, very cool. Oh, it was over here. All right, so these these are the Mars Red Red um, Mars Valley um, Fat Carbon Scales, and they are contoured. Now, if I'm going to compare the two, yeah, so. This is a little harsher, still contoured on the side, but this is much softer on the side. That's first of all, let's check it out. Is it nice and centered? It sure is. All right, I'll put this off to the side. We'll compare it later. And we've got all black hardware, same screws where you can uh, change out the scales, which is one of those proprietary things that he did. He get, let out the, um, the design for the scales, the actual measurements, so you can make your own scales, which is really cool. Deep pocket carry clip. One thing I did notice, oh no, there's no writing on here. I know with the uh, Wii knives, they put banter there for that under, uh, on the clip. Here it's kind of blank, which is cool. All right, so let's give it a flip. Very nice. All right, and one thing you'll notice, everything looks the same. You see that NAFS over here, but one thing you'll notice right here, you can see that S35VN steel. So this is a much better grade of steel. I mean, it's not a super, super premium steel, but I mean, it's definitely a premium steel. So. The action is nice, yeah, definitely. I like that, but I gotta tell you, much more comfortable. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. Now, you may ask, well, why would you get another lander? You already have one. <clears throat> you're right, you're right. And, and this one is okay, it's a great budget. Fifth um, budget knife, you wanna use something you don't worry about losing, it's like 59 bucks. Very good knife as far as using and beating up and not worrying about. Uh, fifth pocket knife for me in, in my case, but uh, I wanted to get some other scales and the scales that were offered just weren't really great out there. And finally, they had something with nice scales with these Mars Valley. Now I would have preferred red fat carbon, but this is cool. It's kind of orange red mixed together. And I like that. I do. I like that a lot. And uh, the action is, is really nice. But one of the things that I really wanted to do is I wanted to have a more premium steel. I'm not a big fan of D2 steel, and this having the S35VN steel is a much better steel. It sharpens better, retains its edge longer, more corrosion resistant. Uh, yeah, it's a nice sharp edge for sure. And uh, the liner works really well. Let's see, is the cutout? Yeah, it's still a relatively good cutout, right? You can still get to it pretty nicely. So that's really nice. But um, I brought out this one for a reason because this is Unlock Composites. They make these wonderful scales for all the Ben uh, Ben Peterson's knives. I have this on my Wii Banter. I have 
a set on my baby banter and the big banter he's working on those as well but before he does the big banter he's actually have been working on creating some of the scales for the for the lander and so i'm going to be ordering some of the scales for the lander now i'm kind of torn whether i want to keep this but i wanted definitely a higher grade steel i may put these scales on this one and then put the unlock composite scales on this one over here so that way this one's kind of upgraded a little bit and then this one will have the unlock composite scales what i like about these and you'll notice they're contoured right they're contoured all around and they have a really nice relief to the cutout and that's one of those things that i'm really looking forward to something like this i mean now it's not bad you can definitely see there's cut out to the relief but it would be nice to have just a little extra relief there just to get into it because sometimes you know it's not quite enough you know if you got big meaty fingers like i do i don't have these little um, thin fingers so sometimes it's hard for me to get into little places like this with a smaller knife right but i like this knife the knife i can get a full full full, full four finger grip on here it's comfortable i can use it and but i wanted this to be just a little step up and so i like that i like this a lot so anyways this is the navs lander with the mars valley fat carbon scales and s35 vn steel so you've seen the, my review on the the other one a lot of things are going to be the similar but i did want to kind of you know just look at some of the differences and look at the scale you can just really see the difference and i bet in the sun that's going to be beautiful it's going to reflect really nicely it kind of reflects pretty nicely here just in the my uh, my lighting that i have for my set here so that's nice uh, and then you can see it is a liner lock and we are engaged what are we let's see here where we're at we're probably a good 30 percent yeah probably a good 30 percent no blade rock nice and solid let's see does it close in on the detent nicely yep no detent lash that's good right we said the centering was nice and we should be able to reverse flick that really nicely and then yep left-handed it's really nice as well because it's relatively almost a full flat grind i usually can get my finger in there yep i can get my finger in your middle finger and do a middle finger flick which is always nice i'm going to put a little oil in there and check out what the washers are they're probably the same i don't know if there's any skiffs offerings for this yet um i know he has some smaller ones and i wanted to see if they fit in here but i haven't ordered them because i have no knife that would really take it but i should probably just buy a few and just try it out but there you go so this is the Navs Lander, Mars Valley Fat Carbon. Really, really nice. I do like that. And as you notice, it's a deep pocket carry clip. The, 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 screw, the, the clip goes into the scales. And you notice he does include an insert over here so that this doesn't catch and uh, cut you or anything like that. And it is flush screws. So you have it goes over the lip and goes right on in. I do wish they had a secondary kind of a clip that you could replace this with. Something that... Um, at the same size and everything it would be nice to get maybe a titanium clip that would be cool but you know this is still pretty cool i like this a lot yeah very cool nice little knife i think the action is going to break in really nicely we'll put a little oil on there it already has some oil but i'm going to put a little oil on the detent ball right in there but it is smooth right now i don't feel any grittiness which is always nice that'll be cool it's a great little knife um, i highly recommend this so if you're looking for a really inexpensive budget knife definitely get the lantern d2 they uh there's a variant of this one also that comes out with micarta i believe and it's 14 c28n that's a better budget steel now that one is like i think 69 or 79 bucks but definitely i think it's a worthwhile investment if you're gonna still want to be budget now if you're willing to spend and i believe this is normally 189 but there was a sale going on and i don't know if it's still going on but it was uh this was significantly cheaper and so I, I picked it up since i saw that um and i don't want to say what it is because if the sale's not there i don't want you all mad at me but if you see this video and the sale's still on get it if not then oops sorry missed it um but i suspect this is a limited run once they sell out of these they're going to be done with them but man i gotta tell you that contoured scales yeah i can definitely feel that and i want to say yeah yeah definitely okay so you can see that uh, can we can we get, zoom in on that let's see if you can see that you can definitely see that these are contoured they definitely have a contour coming up here and over here so that's really nice let's see if we can see it on this side oh yeah definitely you can see that so there's definitely a contour on there that really does add a little roundness to it where this one 
is really flat, just straight up flat, which is, you know, blocky for a budget knife. I mean, that's okay. That's okay for 1500 bucks. You know, you, it's a great deal. I mean, it's a very functional, almost any size hand can use it. If you have, you know, even 3X, 2X large, you'll be able to three, three finger control grip, hold that really well. It's a very functional, kind of small stash away knife, but this just adds a little, little nice touch to it, I think. This makes it just really nice. And uh, yeah, I'm liking that action. It's really breaking in pretty quickly here. It's got to make sure you get, uh, when you do left hand it, I'm not a lefty, so I always have to make sure I place my finger right and, and remember which knife I'm using. It's always a matter of figuring out where that edge is. But I will tell you, that edge, let's look at that. Yeah, that edge is pretty even all the way around. Let's look at the other side. Mm -hmm. Oops, I'm sorry. Let's zoom in. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty even edge, I would have to say. That's good. That's nice. I like that. Uh, I had a really great uh, McNeese knife. I really, really like it. If you saw my other videos, check them out. Um, and, you know, it's handmade. It's, hand, it's mid-tech, so they're all hand-done, hand-ground. And um, part of it is a little thicker on, on part of the, uh, on the, uh, what they call the swedge. A swedge is when it flattens up here, it curves in a little bit, allows you to go through a difficult cut not more easily, allows you to turn the blade. Um, there's a lot of logic and physics behind that. Sometimes it makes no difference depending on what you're cutting, but if you're cutting something very thick and heavy like leather, plastic or something, really a swedge is super helpful, right? Um, especially if you're trying to, you know, really do a precision cut. But, um, the swedge on that one was off a little bit here. I mean, there's not much to mess up because there's no swedge, so you're fine. It's just flat up here coming up to the flat grind, and that's where the flat grind meets right here. And so I can just, oops, put my finger in there, reverse grip it, reverse flick it. Oops. Well, you, you know, I normally can't. Oh, <laughs> make me out to be a liar. There we go. Wow. I was doing it just fine earlier. Oh, what's going on? Why am I suddenly having trouble? Did my finger get all... Okay, I wasn't getting traction. Okay, all right, that's fair enough. No traction. It always helps to make sure you have a little bit of traction. Yeah, okay. All right. I like this. I like this a lot. Definitely recommend you check it out. I think that they may still have some more, and if it's on sale, I think it's a great deal. I really do like this. We'll do a review probably because I'm going to talk more about this and hopefully soon about the unlock composite scales. I really would like to do that, but definitely going to check. Uh, I really want to kind of feel how this is in hand and how well the edge holds up. One thing I noticed with this one, when I did carry this and I used it, the, I'd use the edge, I'd have to buff it up pretty quick. I mean, I'd have to leather strop it. And I, I don't know where my leather strop is, but I have it here somewhere. But I would have to leather strop the, the, uh, the edge. Oh, it's right here. I would have to kind of regularly leather strop it, right? Just to kind of hone up that edge. Because once you used it, you know, the edge wasn't super strong. It didn't last uh, a long time. But, you know, S35VN, I've noticed, is, tends to hold its edge much better and tends to be a little tougher as well for the cuts and stuff. So I like that. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, definitely sharp. I love that. Anyhow, nice, nice little knife. So we'll probably do a review on this just because it's different enough to, to do so. And I'm a small channel. You know, I'm not like a super huge Metal Complex or Neves Knives or those guys were you know, um, Nick Shabazz, those really the, the big giants there, you know, um, I, I'm going to review all I get because I'm looking for it for personal experience and maybe, you know, I'm going to find something new experience in this that I didn't experience in that and I'll share that. So we'll go ahead and do that. Hey, if you have any questions about this unboxing or things you'd like to see when I do unboxing, would you comment down below? And if you, if there's anything you want me to cover during the review, would you also let me know down below? I would love to incorporate some of that and learn and make my videos better. And uh, if, you know, if you have any questions about the knives or any other knives or any recommendations for upcoming videos, please let me know as well. I'd love to hear from you guys. I do try to respond to all my comments and appreciate every one of them. And so, hey, if you like this video, if you found this entertaining, uh, informative, or just uh, neat, would you consider hitting the like button 
Um, and then if you've already hit the like button, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. Subscribing really, really does help me out a lot. It helps the channel, allows me to do more things because it allows us to grow and, and you know, get access to more things that we can then review and maybe even do giveaways and what have you. So I really would appreciate it if you maybe would subscribe and, uh, and hit the like button. And hey, if you've already subscribed, maybe hit that notification button so you can be notified of upcoming content that I drop. And uh, if you've checked all that out and you're good there, maybe if you want to check me out as soon as I can grab it, <laughs> uh, check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. That's robs underscore nerdy underscore knives on Instagram. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. You guys have a great day and a great week. Bye.